I always like to listen to Floyd when it when it comes to uh, big stages like this, cause he's the he's the he's the only one that been in, in, in my shoes and, and and been like in these type of fights. You know what I mean? So I always try to stay uh, close to Floyd when stuff like this happens. I always appreciate Floyd for being in my corner and having my back. Gervonta and Floyd have allegedly tried to put their differences aside and are attempting to move on with live, keeping it civil. They reportedly had a private call after Mayweather's fight against Gotti III, where Tank had congratulated Floyd on his performance. This was after Floyd shown respect to Cesar Chavez Sr. Tank thought Floyd was jealous of him. However, it seems like he was mistaken. He was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. My That's dad, what I'm, I'm at that point where I passed him. Mm. And, I, and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like, when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's, that the, deal, that's a part that's of deal. He, ain't, he don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. <laughs> and y'all just, and I'm just. Mayweather's influence on Tank's early career was immense. Floyd didn't just serve as a promoter, he was a mentor, offering Davis insights into the business and technical sides of boxing. Under Mayweather's guidance, Tank developed from a promising young fighter into a world champion, known for his knockout power and exciting fighting style. Their relationship, once full of mutual respect and admiration, became the bedrock of Tank's ascent in the boxing world. But with success came the inevitable complications. As Tank's career progressed, so did his ambition and desire for independence. This growing desire to forge his path would eventually strain the relationship between mentor and protege, setting the stage for the live confrontation that captivated the boxing world. As Gervonta Davis climbed the ranks, he quickly became one of the most feared fighters in the lightweight and super featherweight divisions. His power, combined with his ability to adapt and outthink his opponents, made him a force to be reckoned with. However, as his star rose, so did his ambitions, and with it, the tension between him and Floyd Mayweather. Floyd, known for his meticulous control over his brand and legacy, seemed to have a different vision for Tank. Mayweather's approach to boxing was always about maintaining control, both inside and outside the ring. He was known for carefully selecting opponents and managing his career to maximize earnings and preserve his undefeated record. Tank, on the other hand, seemed eager to take on all comers, driven by a desire to prove himself as the best fighter in the world. This divergence in approach led to friction, Tank, feeling increasingly confined by Mayweather's careful matchmaking and business strategy, began to push back. The once close-knit relationship began to fray, with Davis seeking more autonomy and Mayweather struggling to maintain his influence over the young star. If you're doing good, they got something to say. If you're doing bad, they got something to say. So, do what makes you happy. Because you see this jet, you see this private jet that we own? I got it because I did what the, I wanted to do. I made over a billion dollars, you know why? Because I did what the, I wanted to do. I'm gonna always tell Tank, do what the, you wanna do. Floyd Mayweather's recent exhibition match against John Gotti III was more than just another post-retirement spectacle. It was a reflection of his enduring legacy and his ability to remain relevant in the sport even after his official retirement. The fight, held in Miami, drew significant attention not just because of the Mayweather name, but also due to the connection with the infamous Gotti family. In the ring, Mayweather displayed the same defensive mastery that defined his career. Even at 47, his ability to control the pace of the fight, anticipate his opponent's moves, and avoid damage was impressive. While the fight didn't affect his official record, it reminded the world of Mayweather's unmatched ability to draw crowds and generate excitement. It also highlighted the stark contrast between Floyd's exhibition career and Tank Davis's ongoing quest for boxing greatness. For Tank, every fight is a step towards building his legacy, while for Mayweather, these exhibitions seem to be more about entertainment and maintaining his brand. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Mayweather-Gotti fight was the rumor that Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather had a backstage meeting. While details of this alleged encounter remain scarce, the mere possibility of such a meeting has fueled speculation in the boxing community. If the meeting did happen, it would likely have been fraught with tension. Tank, now a global superstar in his own right, may have confronted Floyd about the perceived slights and disrespect. On the other hand, Floyd, ever the master strategist, might have used the opportunity to remind Davis of the lessons that brought him success. The significance of this alleged meeting goes beyond just a personal encounter. It symbolizes the ongoing struggle between two eras of boxing, 
the old guard represented by Mayweather, and the new wave embodied by fighters like Tank Davis. The unresolved tension between these two figures serves as a microcosm of the larger dynamics at play in the sport today. He was, a, he was a young kid, came up to me when he was a kid, wanted an autograph. Um, I signed his phone for him and told him, you'll be world champion someday and you, I'll be your promoter. Years later, he was working with some people from our team because our team is huge. We, we, we got guys in D.C., Baltimore, Philly, New York, all around. He won a few fights. I think he was like eight, eight or nine and all. I told him, in under 24 months, you'll be world champion. Made the right moves, put him in the right position. He's a multi-millionaire now. He was a, he was a kid that couldn't even, couldn't even buy a bus ticket. Now he's a multi-millionaire. The live argument between Tank and Floyd brought to the surface a key issue that had been simmering for years. Respect. For Tank, the desire to fight Floyd Mayweather goes beyond the competitive nature of the sport. It's about settling a personal score. Davis has often felt that Mayweather, despite being his mentor, has not given him the respect he deserves as a champion and as a man. This perceived disrespect has manifested in various ways, from public comments to the way Mayweather has managed Tank's career. For Davis, stepping into the ring with Mayweather would be the ultimate way to assert his independence and demand the respect he feels he's earned. But fighting Mayweather is no small feat. Even in retirement, Floyd is one of the most skilled boxers in the world. His defensive capabilities, combined with his experience and ring intelligence, make him a difficult opponent for anyone, including a fighter as talented as Tank Davis. However, for Tank, the fight isn't just about winning, it's about making a statement. A victory over Mayweather would not only settle the score, but also propel Davis into the pantheon of boxing greats. Floyd Mayweather's 50-0 record is one of the most revered accomplishments in the sport of boxing. It represents not just an unblemished career, but also the pinnacle of strategic brilliance and physical excellence. For Tank Davis, surpassing this record is more than just a professional goal, it's a personal mission. Tank's pursuit of a 51-0 record is a daunting task. The modern boxing landscape is filled with skilled fighters, each eager to test themselves against the best. To reach 51-0, Tank will need to navigate this gauntlet of challengers while avoiding the pitfalls that have derailed so many careers before him. However, the road to 51-0 is fraught with challenges. Tank must not only face the physical demands of the sport, but also the mental and emotional pressures that come with chasing greatness. Every fight is a test, not just of his skills, but of his resolve and determination to achieve something that only a handful of fighters in history have even come close to accomplishing. Well, the two guys, the two guys, well, the biggest puncher, I feel, at, at the 135 would probably be Javante Tank Davis. Mm -hmm. But the most skillful fighter, skillful fighter at 135 would be hands down Shakur Stevens. But do you think he has enough power to sustain? Well, it's, all, it's really all about skills. Pernell Whitaker wasn't a huge puncher. But he was, I mean, very exciting, um, very tough, and he fought everybody. And Shakur is trying to do the same thing. He want to fight the best they got out there. Um, he's asking, um, can he fight the best? Um, I believe his contract is coming to an end. So hopefully um, we can come together and I can take him to that next level and give him and give him the fights that he need, that he wants. One of the most surprising revelations from the live argument was Floyd Mayweather's belief that Shakur Stevenson would defeat Tank Davis if they ever fought. This statement, coming from someone as knowledgeable and experienced as Mayweather, carries significant weight and adds a new layer of intrigue to the potential matchup between Tank and Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson, a former Olympian and world champion, is known for his exceptional technical skills and ring intelligence. He has been compared to a young Floyd Mayweather, not just for his talent, but for his strategic approach to the sport. Mayweather's endorsement of Stevenson as the one to beat Tank is a testament to Stevenson's abilities and potential. For Tank, this prediction is both a challenge and a motivator. Being told that someone else is more likely to beat him by his former mentor is bound to light a fire under Davis.
It could push him to new heights in his training and preparation, driving him to prove Mayweather wrong and establish himself as the undisputed best in the division. A fight between Shakur Stevenson and Tank Davis has the potential to be one of the biggest events in boxing. It would pit two of the sport's brightest young stars against each other in a clash of styles, skills, and egos. The build-up to such a fight would be nothing short of monumental, with fans and analysts debating the outcome for months leading up to the bout. In the ring, the fight would be a fascinating contest. Tank's power and aggression would be tested against Stevenson's technical prowess and defensive acumen. It's the kind of fight that could go either way, depending on who can impose their will on the other. Beyond the immediate implications for their careers, a fight between Stevenson and Davis would have far-reaching consequences for the sport as a whole. It would signal a new era in boxing, with the winner likely becoming the face of the sport for years to come. For Tank, a victory would be a major step towards surpassing Mayweather's 50-0 record. While for Stevenson, it would be a chance to validate Floyd's prediction and establish himself as the next great champion. Shakur Stevenson's recent decision to part ways with top rank and sign a two-fight deal with Eddie Hearn is a significant move in his career. It's a strategic shift that reflects Stevenson's desire to take control of his career and position himself for the biggest fights possible. Shakur's profile is non-existent compared to where it should be in terms of his talent. And you know, I look very similar to the, the job that we're now doing with Jerron Ennis. You know, he's never seen anything like it. He's going to be active. We've done nearly 10,000 tickets already for his fight. We could sell the whole thing out. The kid's going to be a superstar, and I'm going to push him like a rocket. And that's easy when they're as good as that is. And Shakur is so good. Shakur should be a superstar. Shakur may be pound for pound number one. Under top rank, Stevenson achieved great success, but his move to Eddie Hearn's matchroom boxing is seen as a play for greater exposure and bigger paydays. Hearn is known for his ability to secure high-profile fights and his global reach in the boxing world. For Stevenson, this move is about more than just money, it's about legacy. The two fights on Stevenson's horizon against Joe Cordina and William Zapita are crucial stepping stones. Cordina, a skilled boxer from Wales, will test Stevenson's abilities and resilience. Zapata, on the other hand, is a dangerous opponent with a reputation for knocking out his adversaries. If Stevenson can come through these fights unscathed, it will set the stage for a mega fight with Tank Davis. And that the 22 and 0 fighter will defend his championship against the former IBF super featherweight king, Joe Cardina, on October 12th in Saudi Arabia on the same card as Dmitry Bivol and Artur Vetter Biev contesting the undisputed light heavyweight championship, which is one hell of a card. A future showdown with mandatory challenger William Zapata awaits the winner of Shakur Stevenson versus Joe Cardina, and Shakur is confident he's going to set up that mega fight with the undefeated Mexican. Speaking to Matchroom, Stevenson said, I've made it clear that I want the biggest names and the biggest fights in the sport. Bring on Willie Cepeda at the top of 2025, and I'm ready for anyone who's brave enough to step in the ring with me. Gervonta Davis's latest win against Martin was a masterclass in boxing. Davis showcased his ability to adapt to different styles and his relentless pursuit of victory. Martin, a capable and dangerous opponent, was outclassed by Tank's speed, power, and ring IQ. This victory was more than just another win on Tank's record, it was a statement to the rest of the division. Tank demonstrated that he is not just a power puncher, but a complete fighter, capable of outthinking and outmaneuvering his opponents. It was a performance that solidified his status as one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. However, Tank's success also comes with a downside. His dominance in the ring has made it difficult to find opponents willing to face him. Many fighters are reluctant to step into the ring with someone as dangerous as Davis, leading to a scarcity of high-profile matchups. This has been a source of frustration for Tank, who is eager to continue proving himself against the best the sport has to offer. The split between Floyd Mayweather and Gervonta Davis was a turning point in both of their careers. For Mayweather, it was the end of a chapter that saw him guide a young, talented fighter to the top of the sport. For Davis, it was the beginning of a new era, one where he would have to navigate the complexities of the boxing world on his own. The split was not without controversy. There were rumors of disagreements over money, fight selection, and control over Tank's career. Some speculated that Mayweather's desire to remain in the spotlight conflicted with Davis's ambitions to carve out his legacy. Whatever the reasons, the split marked a significant moment in boxing, with both men moving in different directions. 
For Davis, the split was both a risk and an opportunity. Without Mayweather's guidance, he would have to prove that he could manage his career and continue his ascent to greatness. But it also gave him the freedom to make his own decisions, take the fights he wanted, and build his brand independently. The question now is whether Tank can navigate these challenges and continue his quest to surpass Mayweather's 50 zero record. Whilst meanwhile, Shakur Stevenson will be in the background, attempting to reach that number one spot, whilst keeping a sustained relationship with Floyd. What's your relationship like with Floyd Mayweather? I got a good relationship with Floyd. I think, truthfully, like, me watching, like, his situation, I think Floyd got a lot of haters. Like, I think a lot of people just hate Floyd. And I think Floyd do play a part in it, but I still think, like, he, uh, he got people that just hate, like, his whole life is, like, on a like level where it's like anything he say or do, everybody's gonna make a big deal about it. And people gotta realize he's still human. Yeah. Like he's still a human being yeah. at the end of the day. He still is bleed like we bleed. And in my opinion, it's like any little thing he do, everybody's gonna make a big deal about it. He say this, they gonna make a big deal. It's gonna become the biggest story. We're not perfect. Everybody got their wrongs, everybody got their uh, rights. But me, from my relationship with him, I feel as though, uh, been cool with me. Did he call you before or after the Artem fight? Uh, yeah, he called me after the fight. He was telling me little things that I, I could uh, do in the ring. And, um, like I said, I appreciate that. That's what I really be wanting like from Floyd. Like, I want to hear the box and I want to hear, okay, what you think I, I could do to help my game evolve? And, um, I appreciate all of y'all. Like I appreciate every last word that y'all uh, put in, you know, when y'all talk about me. The idea of Floyd Mayweather coming out of retirement to fight Gervonta Davis is the stuff of dreams for boxing fans. It's a matchup that would captivate the world and generate unprecedented interest in the sport. But is it realistic? For Mayweather, stepping back into the ring for a professional fight would be a significant risk. At 46, he is far removed from his prime, and facing a fighter as young and dangerous as Tank could expose him to a level of punishment he has never experienced before. However, Mayweather is known for his confidence and self-belief. If he thinks he can win, he might just take the fight. For Davis, a fight with Mayweather would be the ultimate test. Beating Floyd would not only solidify his place as one of the greatest fighters of all time, but also allow him to step out of Mayweather's shadow once and for all. The financial rewards would be immense, but for Tank, the fight would be about more than just money. It would be about legacy. A fight between Floyd Mayweather and Gervonta Davis would be more than just a battle between two great fighters. It would be a defining moment for the sport of boxing. It would represent the passing of the torch from one generation to the next, with the winner potentially becoming the face of the sport for years to come. For Mayweather, the fight would be a chance to prove that he is still the greatest, even in retirement. A win would cement his legacy as the best boxer of all time, while a loss would be a blemish on an otherwise perfect career. For Davis, the stakes are equally high. A win would elevate him to a level of superstardom that few fighters ever achieve, while a loss would raise questions about his ability to perform on the biggest stage. Beyond the immediate implications for their careers, the fight would have far-reaching consequences for the sport. It would attract a global audience, bring new fans to boxing, and set the stage for future rivalries. The outcome of the fight would also influence the next generation of fighters, shaping the sports landscape for years to come. We also cannot ignore the role of Shakur Stevenson in this equation. Floyd's belief that Stevenson could defeat Tank adds a fascinating wrinkle to the narrative. If Stevenson can continue his rise and secure a fight with Davis, it could change everything. A Stevenson-Davis fight would be a clash of styles and strategies, with both men bringing their unique skills to the ring. For Stevenson, a win would validate Mayweather's prediction and position him as the next great champion. For Tank, a victory over Stevenson would be a significant step towards surpassing Mayweather's 50-0 record and proving that he is the best in the world. The outcome of a Stevenson-Davis fight would also have implications for a potential Mayweather-Davis matchup. If Tank can defeat Stevenson, it would increase the demand for a fight with Mayweather, while a loss could derail those plans entirely. Here is we go Joe Caldina, William Zapeda, Javonta Davis. For me, once we've done our work over that six month period, Javonta Davis against Shakur Stevenson will be the biggest fight in boxing. As we look to the future, the possibilities are endless. A potential Shakur versus Gervonta fight would go crazy for the fans, 
whilst they, some believe Shakur can outbox Gervonta, and others feel like Davis's power is just too much. One thing is certain, the world of boxing is in for some exciting times with these three men at the center of it all. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, whilst more content from our channel is being displayed on screen as we speak.